Thanks. Wait till our journey's over. Ezekiel, we must rest, else the whole flock will die. We're trespassing, Hannah. Caleb, come along. Please, Lord, give us a little more strength. Who are they, Beauty? Modesty. She's a pommy, you say, from the old country, is yes, it? A pommy, a woman, and a vet. <laughs> it's like it's been made to order, Bernard. Yes, sir. Yeah, made to order. For what? Don't disappoint me, Bernie. Oh, no, sir, the scheme. I know, I do nothing, I say nothing. I've got it. You leave everything to me. Sure as apples, Gov. Why do I worry when you sound so confident? Why would Mr. Snape be going to see Jenny? You'll be over to see the bull today, then, Mrs. Denny. This afternoon. It's a pleasure doing business with you. And with you. You know my place? Yes, I've seen it a few times, Mr. Snape. It's quite impressive. And so is your reputation, Mrs. Denning. I only hire the best. Good day. Good day, Mr. Snape. You shook his hand. I was being polite. You don't like him. Vicky, I'm going to inspect his new bull. I'm not going to marry him. Don't see why you're so happy about it. He's one of the most important men in the district. The fact that he's decided to use me means that I'm finally accepted by everyone, including all the established landowners. Very good indeed, my dear. Congratulations. Why hasn't he used you before? Well, he hasn't needed me before. Apparently, the man who did all his veterinary work has just left him. I don't understand why he wants his bull inspected after he's bought it. Yes. I don't know. Well, perhaps Mr. Snape isn't as intelligent as you, Vicky. I'm sorry. Thanks, anyway. That's the second lad I've had this week from Stony Valley wanting work. Poor blight, isn't he? Won't be the last. I suppose most of the farmers will be selling up. Is that because of the drought? Mm. That and the bushfire. It's taken every last skerrick of fodder. It's never a good farming area. It's dry, even in the best of seasons. Hilda, mm. what's Mr. Snape doing here? Oh, I'll be getting Samuel into trouble, he will. You don't like him? Arthur Snape thinks he runs this place, and the trouble he is, he practically does. Beyond the law, he is. When he says jump, my Samuel says, how high? <laughs> He's asked Jenny to inspect his new ball. Has he? Hmm. Well, she better keep her wits about her. But she will. It's only Samuel who never learns. Oh. He's a perfect specimen, Mr. Fulcher. Mr. Snape will be real pleased to hear you say that. Where's he from? He's a local fella, aren't you, boy? Yeah. Ah, that was quick. He's in excellent condition. You've got nothing to worry about. Good, that's good. I didn't know anyone local was selling cattle. Local? No. No, he's from Stony Valley. But he said that... Oh. <laughs> he's not the brightest out, Bernie. He, uh, should get rid of him, but he'd be lost without me. You know the type. Your loyalty is commendable, Mr. Snape. Nothing, really. Well, thank you for your trouble, Mrs. Denning. No trouble at all, Mr. Snape. Good day.
I told you to say it was from Stony Valley. Haven't got a clue, have you? Ah, Mrs. Denning. You saved me a trip. Oh, good morning, Mr. Snape. Tell me, would you, where you got your training to be a vet? In some village school in Derbyshire? I beg your pardon. My bull is dead. Dead? This pommy quack comes out to my place yesterday, called my new bull perfect, and this morning the animal lies dead. Black gut fever. What? And she didn't even see it. But that's disaster for the district. Disaster! Black gut. That's right, Mrs Burton. Not seen in these parts since the early days. But now it's back. Up from Stony Valley. It thrives in poor conditions. Stony Valley, that's the source of it. I must see the carcass, Mr Snape. You're joking, aren't you? Black gut kills everything on four legs. It's a plague. The beast's gone, Mrs Denning. Destroyed. I've got my stock to protect. Come quick, Gov. Some kids outside selling sheep. Two for a shilling, ladies and gentlemen. Two sheep for a shilling. A week on fresh grass, and now it's doubled this size. Ten pence. Two for ten pence. Look, Sonny, where are these sheep from? We're up from Stony Valley, sir. Did you shift them by boat? Overland, sir. That's why they're so thin. We move them very fast. Oh, no, miss. That's not why they're thin. These sheep are carrying black gut fever. They must be destroyed immediately. No, they're quite healthy. Just thin. They're not sick. You have our word. I've just watched my new bull, brought up from the valley, die before my very eyes. Black gut is here. Right here. Look, sir. Is this sheep sick? Is it, Mr. Snape? I see an animal in poor condition. You show me that it's carrying this black gut fever. She couldn't even recognize it, and she's the vet. Precisely. So show me a symptom that's not explained by starvation and fatigue. Are you calling me a liar? I'm asking you to prove that I am. Stop it, both of you. The only person we need to call is Constable Carmody. This is a matter for the law. <laughs> Everyone settle. Right. It seems, according to Mr. Snape, that black gut isn't evident until the final stages, and not to an untrained eye. And according to Mrs. Denning, the sheep are in poor condition, but they're not sick. What would she know? Give the sheep a feed, and if one... What the devil are you playing at, Carmody? And if one dies overnight, then I'll have to take action. Overnight? We can't wait that long. What if one of them escapes? You gutless wonder. The whole district's in jeopardy. By sunset, then. Mrs. Burton, perhaps you could find them some fodder. With pleasure. It'll be all right. The constable will keep his word. You will be able to sell your sheep. Some of them are too weak now to even eat at all. Hilda! Black gut fever. What is it? Well, there was something in the early days. Stock died. But then they'd spent months and months on board ship getting here. And you can't necessarily tell me it was one disease that did it. But you're the vet. I gained my degree and experience on the other side of the world, Hilda. I can't know everything. Whilst you're busy doubting yourself, spare a bit of doubt for our Mr. Snape. He's not to be trusted. Is there such a thing as black gut fever? I seriously doubt it. 
Why would Mr. Snape want to invent it? Simple economics. If all the sheep from Stony Valley are sold up here, then the prices drop. And Mr. Snape won't be able to make as much on his sheep as he wants. Mm. But he will be able to sell them. His sheep are so much better. He's a greedy customer, Vicky. He's not concerned with selling. He's concerned with making more money. And then he can buy more cattle. Jenny, that bull, could Mr. Snape have killed it himself and just said it had a disease? Well, he could have. But that wouldn't make any sense. It's a valuable animal. Then if it's not dead, it must still be alive somewhere. I think you could be right. What are we standing here for? Let's go and find it. Oh, Vicky, we can't leave the children without an ally. There's too much hysteria about. I wish I could be in two places at once. Jenny, I can. You take Beauty and I'll stay here. If anyone can find that ball quickly, dead or alive, it's Beauty. <laughs> Thank you. Look lively, Bernie. We've got some sheep to deal with. Won't the constable know it's not sunset? I've arranged for the constable to be called away. Unavoidably detained, Bernard. You're a genius, Mr. Snape. Just looking after my interests. And the districts, of course. What's this one called? That's Mary. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. She's <laughs> always wandering off on her own. I believe she's got some colour in her cheek. <laughs> Are you two letting the sheep eat in peace? Sorry. Hold Smokey, Caleb. Keep him close. Please. I don't mean to alarm you. I've just been called on, and I wanted to make sure you're all right before I go. We're very grateful to you, sir, for giving our sheep a chance. It's the least I could do. Are they all well after their feed? Oh, yes. They're very happy. Smokey's Caleb's favourite. They're inseparable sometimes. Sir, if our flock is to die, then I should like to do it. The kill them. Uh, let's hope it won't come to that, eh? I hope that little fellow manages to digest his meal without too much trouble. Try, Mr. Snape. Here we are. Thank you. <laughs> Good boy. You don't need to stay with us if you have something else to do. Only learn history. I'd much rather stay here. You know, if the worst happens, it's our own fault. We drove them too hard. We wanted to beat the other farmers who were coming up from the valley to sell their stock. Now we're paying for our greed. Were you so badly hit by the drought? No. It was a fire that finished us. It took everything. Where are your parents? The house went up suddenly. Father raced back to hurry Mum. But they didn't make it out again. But it's all right. They've gone to a better place. Better than here. It's just scrub. Just a minute. Hilda, Mr. Snape's here. And 
Hadn't you better go and see what he's up to, Samuel? Or do you already know? Oh. Hilda, we've got to find Constable Carnahy. Hold your horses. Look, we're going to have to have some delaying tactics of our own first. Now, when I give you the word, you go and call the men in. And then take the sheep and put them into the yard. That snake's bound to be up to no good. And I don't want him doing anything on my property. Hello, my friend. We meet again. Now, we have an appointment. Ticket. Oh, you haven't called me that for so long. Ticket. Flannel flower. Mm. Mm. Those wretched kids. Oh. Where are you going with those sheep? Sir, they're still alive. You call that alive? He's just sleepy. He's dying, boy. Just like the rest of them are about to. Come on, Vernon. Um, I... Don't you remember that we said we'd get the constable first, Mr. Snape? Burton, keep your wife out of this. Nobody tells me what to do. Then it's about time someone did. Don't you dare threaten me, you great big... Please! You mustn't argue because of us. See? Well, well, I don't think we'll need comedy after all, Mrs. Burton. How about you take the kids inside while we do the necessaries? Before we do this, let us all pray. Let us all what? Forgotten how to. As it comes to pass that our flock must be destroyed, we ask that these sheep be spared any more suffering and that we might be forgiven. Hannah, it's a miracle! Mr. Snape, your bull. Black gut fever? More like black heart fever, I think. <laughs> I found Mr. Snape's bull hidden in the bush. Hidden, no doubt, by Mr. Snape himself. Black gut fever is nothing more than a fabricated disease to ensure that Mr. Snape can see off the competition and then get a higher price for his own sheep. There's nothing wrong with your sheep. All they need is a little kindness and a lot of food. So Mr. Swain bought all of them? All, for more than we'd hoped. And he even said he'd give Zeke and me work if we wanted. A good offer, do you think? I'm sure Caleb could stay with you both. No. Our home is the valley. We must go back before we can decide what to do. Uh, we're not staying. Samuel just wanted to leave you with a few words. I, we, that is Mr. Snape and I, are heartily glad our suspicions have been groundless. 
And we would just like you to accept this small token of our... Guilt. County dog pet. Couldn't have gone to a nicer family. Arthur Snape hates to be exposed for the crook he is in public. <laughs> He'll buy his way out of everything, and some people admire him for it. Come and sit down. Well, perhaps we will stay after all. Look at me! You've all been so good to us. You'd to think, when we first met, I thought you were a heathen. I didn't. I knew you were kind. Brothers. I don't think having a brother or a sister would be so bad. Now you have. You have us. But you're leaving. No. We're going home. Now it's your turn to visit us. Do you think you'll stay in Stony Valley forever? It's where our parents lie at rest. And I think it will take us a long time to say goodbye to them. And besides, Philly is so beautiful. Not gentle like here, but to us. I'd love to come. Of course I will. He's part of my family. <laughs>